Importing a block allows you to quickly transfer a block with elements from a design in Figma directly to your site's editor. You need to create an API token in Figma, which will be used when importing a block. Open the main menu in the top left corner, expand the Help and Account submenu, and select Account Settings. Scroll down the Settings, and in the Personal Access Tokens section, click on the Generate New Token button. Specify the desired name for your token. After that, click the Generate Token button. Copy your token. Go to the Site Editor on Weblium and add an empty flex block in the place where you need to import the frame from Figma. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the flex block, select Import from Figma, and paste the previously copied token into the Add API Token field. Next, we import the block to Weblium. Open your design file in Figma, select exactly the frame you need to import, Right-click on the desired frame, select Copy-Paste As, and click Copy Link to Selection, or simply copy the URL from the address bar. Return to the Weblium Editor, paste the previously copied link into the Add a Frame Link field, and click the Import button. Done. The block has been imported to your site. Frame Requirements in Figma. The frame, imported block, must be no less than 65 pixels and no more than 3000 pixels. If your frame has a larger height, it must be divided into separate frames. The recommended frame width is 1600 pixels with content located in the middle of the frame within a width of 1170 pixels. This is the width of the FlexBlock workspace. Structure. During the import of a block to Weblium, each element located directly inside the frame in Figma will be recognized separately. This means that the structure of the frame should be as follows. A frame that immediately contains images, buttons, text, groups, and other elements inside. In this case, each group of elements will be recognized as one element. For example, if you have an image and text grouped together within a frame, we recommend ungrouping them or taking the text element out of the group. In other words, text and images should be separate elements directly inside the frame. This way, after importing to Weblium, these elements will also be separate, allowing you to move and edit them independently. Importing the button element. If your block contains buttons, you can use the word button as the name of the group of this button in Figma, without other characters in the name, and, like other elements, move this button to the frame level in Figma. This way, the button element will be created in Weblium in this place. In this case, the text located inside such a group will be set as the text of the Weblium button. The button styles, like shape and color, will be specified in accordance with the global button settings of your site. After the block import, the button will be added with the primary style and medium size by default. We recommend setting up the color palette and fonts of your website to match those used in your Figma design before importing. This way, if needed, you will be able to change these styles across the entire site with just a few clicks.